So today's how-to is a little bit of what I call billy boating, how to go and do it on your own. It's all about stacking everything in your favour, so getting your lines and fenders well organised in plenty of time, having a clear plan in your head how you're going to get off and how you're going to get back on your berth. And if when you come back your berth will be untenable, wind direction or too much tide, then go and put it somewhere safe rather than crashing into something. I've looked at the conditions, I think that I can get out on my own, I think I can get back on my own. We've got 50 foot of boat to play with. It's got IPS, but it's got no bow thruster, so I've got to keep control of that bow. And sometimes you'll see me drive it on the wheel and the sticks. I just prefer that than just the IPS alone. I find the control a little bit finer. First thing I'm going to do is organize all my lines and fenders ready to leave, get it out of here. So I'm going to go and get the springs off. Obviously, I've got the engines running and I've checked my gears. I'm going to take the stern spring off at the moment because the uh, other one's doing a little bit of work. Just going to coil it as I go. Just good housekeeping really. And then at this point I'm going to undo it from the dock just make it into a loop on board so I'll be on the boat at the last moment second spring coming off now same thing I do big loops as I go when I get to this point just gonna have a little ease forward on that line. So I'm just moving the boat forward just a fraction. That then gives me an unrushed moment to throw my bow line up, I work my way aft, down to the stern, on I step, All ready to go. Just as I stepped on board, I could feel the boat was starting to move aft. So I just did a tiny click of port ahead just to hold me up. That's that wind and tide moving me already. So good look round, all clear. Just lifting that stern out slightly so I can leave the berth. Just using that IPS, but I actually prefer the joystick at this point, just feel a little happier allow me to slide the boat out. All the elements are pushing me this way now, so a little bit of wheel to port and a starboard ahead. A little bit of both ahead just to stop the boat going back. Back to neutrals. Find that angle of balance so I'm nice and controlled as I leave. So effectively because I've got plenty of elements I've just ferry gliding gently out of the berth now. Now, I'm going to go upriver at this point because there's a nice little pool up there and that will allow me to put my linders and fenders away. If I was going for a long trip, I might actually take all the fenders off. Because I'm not going that far, I'm going to be slightly cheeky and just rest them on the side. To make that work, I'm going to go up to the little pool, spin the boat round so I'm stern to the elements because that gives me a nice stable boat and slightly longer to... Uh, work before the boat starts to blow off. I find bow to the wind on a breezy day it blows off very quickly so I like stern to the elements. So I think that's a, a nice safe waiting position. Got a little pool here which is a good place to play at putting lines and fenders away. I've taken the boat to the uphill end of the windy area. So I'm just going to spin it round because this has got a lot of bow and it blows off really quickly so I'm going to put it stern to that wind. So round we go.
and you'll see the moment the wind comes on the bow, the boat will spin quite quickly. And you can feel we're going downwind quite quickly now, so I'm just going to bring it round and reverse it back up towards the upwind end, the safe end. So I'll have a glance now. We're moving aft very gently. The bow's pretty still. One more click just to give me a bit longer. So now I'm going to go and whip those lines and fenders off. So a little trick is always start at the bow. Otherwise you're stepping over your own fenders all the time. And you can see I've just started to move now. So we're just going to pick this stern line up so it can't get tangled. I can tidy that a bit later on. But I've got everything under control. And luckily, I managed to do it in one go. Quite often takes two attempts. And you can see now, starting to drift down, starting to drift across. But we got about 30, 40 seconds to get that all in. So I've had a nice little trip. Conditions haven't changed much. Hill is still over there with the wind howling down. So I'm just getting myself in the top of the hill, moving just a fraction aft, so that I get a little chance to get them all out in one go. That's quite ambitious, but we'll see how we get on. So I'm gonna grab my stern line as I walk round. Pop that down, let's bring the line through so it's ready. Pop my fenders out. And all the time I'm doing this, I'm just looking out the corner of my eye. I'm just starting to move downwind. So I've now got to be just conscious of how long have I got before I need to go back in and reposition the boat. So I'm just going to go back in because obviously I need the bow line and we're starting to drift quite quickly. So same thing, just move it back up to the top of the hill. Right, that looks reasonable. Let's just grab that line. When you're taking this bow line, always remember you've got to go over the rail Pop it on. Nice little tug so it's set. And when I look up this time, my transit's not too bad. We're losing the stern a bit on the wind, but we're not too bad. And then we're round to our berth. So I've just lined myself up in that nice balanced position. It tells me the wind's coming across my berth. I'm on 49. So my neighbour's out, but I'm going to pretend they're there, and all I'm going to do is just work the boat around. I'm going around the corner where the 49 number is, because that's where the wind wants to push me on. And I'm going to push my bow right up into the top corner. That will then mean that as I make the boat stationary, the wind will just pop me on the pontoon. I can step out with primarily that stern line first, and then walk forward with that bow line that we uh, organised. A little bit of a head to just drive my boat up to the top corner, back to neutral, letting that momentum. And now a little bit of port ahead just to make my bow come out a fraction. Nicely clear of the corner on the stern. Standing up a moment so I can see and stop my boat. And on this, a little bit of star with a stern will just walk my stern in just a fraction. Remember I've got no bow fuster so I've got to be a little bit careful. Bow's starting to walk in very gently so I'm now going to have wheel to starboard and then a click ahead. So as I step away from the helm I'm moving forward just a fraction. 
So now it's a nice gentle walk, no rush. There's my cleat. Anyone want to think I've done this before? Bring my line. There's my bow line. So I'm just taking that with nice big armfuls. Walk all the way forward. Don't tie it too tight, otherwise you'll make the stern stick out. There we come. This will now come back to make my spring. Might be a touch short. That will be all right. I can reorganise that bow line because that's a little bit slack on the bow. But we'll reorganise that in a moment. On goes my stern spring. The bow spring was the important one. That was the one that was stopping me going too far aft. Just going to adjust that bow line because I'm not absolutely happy but we're nice and safe and secure. So everything is done at walking pace, there's no running, there's no rushing because I've prepped everything beforehand and I've balanced the boat, let it come in, stop, tiny touch ahead, step off. 